The next step in the mouse is to add a chord. To do that, I'm going to go to Construct, Offset Plane, click on the ground plane, drag a plane up. I want to click on the front view and see where that plane is going to go. That plane is going to be where the power cord or the USB cord intersects the mouse. Somewhere right there. Say OK. Now I can create a line, sketch line. I'm going to click on that offset plane. Our last mouse we used a spline to create the cord. I'm going to create a straight line so that it lines up right with the middle. I can hover over the center of the model, do a blue dashed line coming out, start just in front of the wheel, click once. Now this time when I go to click a second time, I'm going to click and hold, which will make a curved tangent line. Click and hold, and there it is. When I let go, if I click immediately and hold again, another tangent line will appear and so on. Here, click and hold, and to right here. With that, stop sketch, go to the home view. I've got a nice clean line pointing directly to the center of this mouse. I'm going to create a pipe, create, pipe, click on this line, and make it a new body. Two millimeters is fine. Hundred percent of the distance is fine. And go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and say OK. And there it is. Now I need to make a hole for this to go through. Now I could come in. I'm going to turn off the top and the wheel. Call this our cord. I could make a hole by coming in here and saying sketch, circle, center diameter, click on this face, draw a larger circle, stop sketch, and I can use the press and pull. Grab all these pieces here. Make sure I turn off the cord. And I can pull that sketch through. Go ahead and cancel that. What I actually want to do is undo the create sketch and use our new tool we've learned now. Modify combine. I'm going to pick the target body, which would be the mouse body, the tool bodies, which is the cord. Instead of join, I actually want to cut. And this time I do want to keep the tools. That's going to keep both parts. Say OK. And now I've got a hole. If I turn off the cord, there's a hole leading into the mouse body. Now I can use my nifty command, modify, press and pull, select the inside of the hole, and I can change that. I'm going to go negative 0.5, say OK. Turn on the cord, and now it fits through there nicely. All right, now it's time to finish up and have some fun with this. Turn on all the different parts. Good time to save. To do the next several steps, I need to turn these bodies into components. Things in Fusion 360, uh, bodies cannot be assembled. Uh, they can't be animated until they're con turned into a component. Components can have more than one body, but in this case, I've got four different bodies, and each one is a component. So I'm going to right-click create components from bodies. I can do this. Each one of these. Take the name with it, so I've got the base, top, wheel, and cord. I want to right click and add an appearance. I'm going to drop on some different materials. can right click and edit materials, change the colors.
Now that I've got some materials assigned, I can go to render. Create a nice rendering shot of the mouse. Then from there, go to animation. Now you notice when I just move the screen, it's recording my move, camera move. That's not super critical, but know that it's doing that. I can turn off the camera record. Now I can move and it won't record these camera motions. I can delete that if I'd like to. I'm going to move the time needle out a little bit and I want to create an exploded view. I'm going to select everything. And under transform, I have to select everything first, all the components, and I can do in auto explode all levels. Wait for it for a bit. And it explodes the model. I can adjust the needle to adjust the time the explosion happens, and I can hit play and watch that happen. There it is. I'm going to click along for mine. You can see the different parts and watch it create that diagram exploding the different pieces. And that's it. Congrats on great work. Be sure to create your rendering and save your project.